brothers and sisters. On behalf of the Palestine Student Union and Solidarity Groups, I say thank you for coming here in solidarity with SJP and JVP. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we stand today. We come here and we stand tall to raise our voices, to lift our spirits, and to chant for freedom. Freedom from any kinds of oppression, freedom from any kinds of injustice, and we come here to chant Free, Free Palestine! will be free, will be free. Palestine will be free of occupation, of colonization, of Western domination, of Israeli apartheid resistance. And when I say racist Israeli apartheid, I am not talking about theories. I'm talking about experience, my own experience, that nobody can doubt. <laughs> my name is Mohsen Mehdawi, and I am a Palestinian refugee, born and raised in a refugee camp in the West Bank. <laughs> I've lived under the apartheid system. I suffered from it. When I was 10 years old, I saw my best friend Hameda getting shot in front of my eyes on the hand of an Israeli soldier. When I was 11 years old, I saw my uncle Thayer assassinated, two shots in his head and one in his shoulder on the hands of terrorist IDF. When I was 12 years old, I witnessed a strike and the aftermath of it, and I collected the parts of seven people who were shattered into pieces in my own hands. Yeah. I collected fingers from the ground. I peeled the skins of the wall. Yeah. When I was 15 years old, I was shot in my leg on the hand of an Israeli soldier, the scar stays here to remind me of the oppression, of the injustice. <laughs> and when I was 17 years old, I lost two cousins, Thayer and Amin, in Jenin refugee camp where the Israeli Mossad murdered them. <laughs> and the list goes on and on and on. And what we witness today, what's happening in Gaza, the genocide that is on, a, on its full scale is something that has been going on for 75, 75 shameful years. Today we see the images of people in Gaza images that shock the consciousness of every human images that shock your own consciousness and we come here in solidarity with gaza and the gazan people against oppression against genocide The images is, are shocking and striking. The images of people being bombed in hospitals while Israel say it's a merciful killing. Shame on Israel. Yeah. 
we see premature babies popped out of their mother's wombs after the strikes, killing both the premature baby and their mothers. Shame on Israel! Shame! We see the use of destructive weapons of his sword that burns people alive. Shame on Israel! Shame! And many, many more images that shocks the human consciousness. We come together today to stand against injustice, to stand for humanity, to stand for freedom. We said it before and we say it now. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Say it louder. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Did you hear us, Colombia? <laughs> and nobody can silence us. We said it before that our voices are louder and more powerful than the money that you receive, Colombia. Injustice at Colombia is a threat to justice in Palestine. And what Colombia has done to our brothers and sisters, to our comrades, is injustice and we will stand against it. Since October 7, Colombia has been discriminating System, using and practicing systematic discrimination against Palestinians and the pro-Palestinian shame on Colombia. Yeah. This decision that was issued by the Special Committee on Safety is unjust and illegal. This is a very classified information for every one of you. The decision to suspend SJP and JVP was done against the, the, the rules and the laws of the university. It is in violation of the codes of this university. The Special Committee on Safety is something that was created by law library and never was consulted or discussed with the University Senate Executive Board. And this is a violation by itself. In addition to this, since October 7, this special committee has been changing the policies and the rules under the table and we have documentation how they change the policies and the rules on the websites without informing any students groups. Shame on Colombia. Yeah. What Colombia has done under the name of safety and security is technically weaponizing the idea of safety and security. It's the same technique that Israel has been using for 75 years to steal lands, to kill people, to commit genocide and apartheid. <laughs> Columbia University is in violation of its codes by allowing that New York police to come to this campus against against the rules that were issued after the protests of 1968. Yeah. We will have
have one of our comrades coming and reading to you after this speech the violation that was done. But my brothers and sisters, we won't be silenced. And this is not only a message, we're not only saying it, but today and now we are coming together to declare that we have a coalition, a coalition of more than 40 student organizations. Roar! Roar, Colombia! You get lions and lionless fighting for justice! <laughs> silence us and they don't know that we can teach Colombia the lessons that it failed to teach us about the protest of 1968. The violation that Columbia University has done to suppress, to suppress and silence us has only started a spark and we get so much fuel to feed the fire to cleanse this university of corruption. <laughs> our fight for it, our fight for freedom, for justice, for humanity just started here and we will not stop until we bring Colombia to its knees for justice. <laughs> Before we say it now and we will say it tomorrow, the students united will never be defeated. The students united will never be defeated. The students united will never be defeated. And now I call my brother, a comrade from the law school to come and share with you our declaration of our coalition.